Also beyond limits today is the discovery on Mars that NASA has announced. Chip Reed has that. Scientists have been puzzled over the past few years by photos from a NASA satellite showing long black streaks on Mars that seem to flow downhill in warmer months, then disappear when extreme cold returns. Today, NASA announced the stunning answer. Mars is not the dry, arid planet that we thought of in the past. Jim Green is director of planetary science. Liquid water has been found on Mars. The water is salty, which explains how it can be in liquid form in such cold temperatures. And water on Mars, of course, raises an intriguing question. How likely do you think it is that today there is some form of life on Mars? Everywhere we go where there's liquid water, whether it's deep in the Earth or um, uh, in the arid regions, uh, we find life. This is tremendously exciting. When many people think of life on Mars, they think of Hollywood's version, like this. Or maybe this. <laughs> but what scientists are thinking about is this. Microbes, so tiny, millions could fit in the eye of a needle. Water on Mars, though, is important for other reasons, too. So you found water. What are the next steps? What do you plan to do with this information? Drink it. <laughs> NASA's John Grunsfeld isn't kidding. Water on Mars could be a lifesaver for future astronauts. One estimate of the total amount of surface water on Mars is that it's only enough to fill 38 Olympic-sized swimming pools. That may not sound like much, Scott, but today on Twitter, someone imagined this exchange. NASA, we have found water on Mars. California, that's cool. Can we have some? They need it for the drought. Chip Reed in Washington tonight. Thank you, Chip.